Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be doing a request by Abby from Inspire to Health. She's a YouTuber as well. You can check her out. And this is my messy mom bun. This is what I do, but I don't have a lot of time to put into my hair, but I don't want to look frumpy. So it's kind of a glamorous take on a messy bun. And it's actually a bun my husband doesn't mind me wearing. So that's, that's a win. All right, so once you brush out your hair, you're just going to tease at the roots if you like to have a little extra volume in your roots. And I will even do this on slightly damp hair and it generally turns out pretty nice. All right, so now you're just gonna kind of prepare your hair like you would for a regular ponytail. And I've been using a new elastic. It's actually a coil um, hair tie. And it's supposed to be a lot easier on your hair. If you have long hair, you know that breakage is usually a problem so this is supposed to minimize the breakage of your hair and also reduce kinks and things like that okay so we're just going to kind of I like to have a little bit of defined part at the front of my bun so I'm just going to try to do that with this comb okay so I'm going to kind of just do like I would a ponytail loop it through and then on the second part, this is where the trick comes in. You're going to kind of fan your hair around to make a donut. And then you're going to pull, kind of pull it up. And then pull the elastic back around. So you see you've got this puff of hair that sort of makes a ring, a donut. And you can adjust it. I'm going to pull my hair up a little bit more to give it more volume. And then you're going to go over it again. So you've gone over three times with the elastic. And so you're just going to kind of pull and adjust. And this is the real trick. Um, you're going to grab the ends of your hair and you're going to pull them up, gather, pull them up, and then flip it into that elastic. So you're tucking all of your loose ends into the elastic. And when I found out this trick, I was just like, yes because my buns just never seem to look right. My brother would tell me that it looked like a bird's nest on my head. So now it looks nice and voluminous and glamorous and, and uh, messy, but at the same time, there's some structure going on. So I like to pull at the roots to add a little bit more volume at the roots. And then these are my favorite bobby pins. I'll have them linked below. And I'm just gonna sort of pin where the hair is loose I don't like my hair to jiggle when I move my head, so I'm kind of checking for that. It's all secure where I think I need a few bobby pins. And honestly, you know, we can get carried away with these. Sometimes I've pulled out like 30 bobby pins, so I'm trying to keep it a little minimal so that there's less breakage too, because that can also break your hair, all those bobby pins in your hair. So there's a lot of just feeling and tugging and adjusting and securing. And honestly, I would recommend using a hand mirror to see the back of your head when you're doing this because sometimes you can get all the front secure and the back can still jiggle a little bit. So with this bun, there is actually some parts that I would have secured if I had done, done that. I don't know if you'll notice or not, but... Sometimes you don't always feel the wiggle, so it's really useful to kind of turn, use your hand mirror, and kind of wiggle your head a little bit to see if anything moves. I also like to kind of rub at my temples and loosen up some of the hair. It kind of softens everything. All right, and there you have it. Pretty quick to put together. Very glamorous and fun. And it's just a nice way to whip up your hair but not feel frumpy. You can confidently go about the rest of your day and do all the awesome and wonderful things that you do. Well friends, I hope you enjoyed this video. This video was a part of my subscriber love month and I look forward to seeing you in my next one. Bye.